Hi, this is Paul Mercer with Noise Kick FX at Mobtown Studios in Baltimore, Maryland. Today we're going to check out the 1904 distortion. This is a versatile four transistor distortion box that goes from slight crunch to heavy fuzz but still retains clarity in chords and leads. The 1904's layout consists of volume in the middle here, tone to the left, and gain or distortion to the right. And then above those, we have two different three-way clipping switches. These are going to select up to nine different combinations of clipping diodes. Different varying settings will give you different volume, gain, and compression. I've called up a bright crunch setting on the 1904. I've got the two clipping switches to the right, and I've got the volume and tone fairly high up, but the gain a little bit down. Let's check it out with some open chords. <laughs> Putting the clipping switches in the middle position removes the diodes from the signal path and produces a less compressed, cleaner tone that you can use to overdrive the front of your amp. I've called up a nice bass boost fuzz tone that helps give power to leads and chords. You also get plenty of sustain out of this pedal. Now we're going to combine the 1904 with the Noise Kick FX Lime Time Delay to get some really cool sustain out of our leads. <laughs> Notice with all that distortion, I still get great clarity in individual notes. This has been the 1904 Distortion by Noise Kick FX. This is a true bypass pedal, and like all other Noise Kick FX pedals, it's handmade of top quality parts and is available to be customized with a ton of different options. With any questions, email noisekickeffects at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.